Hey, it's Rachel at Alicia. This is Investment Peace, and we are going to talk about fall transitions in our little closet side chat this week. Um, fall is one of my favorite seasons, and it might be one of yours, um, although I love them all. I love the weather in um, fall, mainly because I feel like it gives you so many opportunities to be creative. I love the summer, but let's be honest, as much as I want to look chic and I want to look like wonderful in the summer, I also want to be cool, and when it's 100 degrees, your options are rather limited. And the same thing for me goes in the winter, like when it gets really cold, and I don't live in places when it's like super cold, um, but when it does, all I want to do is be warm. And if I don't look as chic as I could, and yet I'm warm, that's kind of what I care about. And yet fall and spring to the same extent, but um, fall gives you this opportunity to kind of play with your clothes and play with textures and play with layers. Um, fall transitions is one of my favorite things to dress for because of the creativity, because of the things that you can put together. Um, during this time, especially at the beginning of fall, when it's not quite cold, it's just kind of chilly, um, one of my favorite things to do is layer like t-shirts and turtlenecks under sundresses and summer dresses, or maybe to wear boots with shorts um, instead of sneakers or something like that. But in particular, I wanted to talk about two um, fall transition pieces that I think are so chic and so versatile and give you so much room for creativity um, with your outfits that also can be a great part of your wardrobe going forward um, for whatever you want to layer and however you want to wear them into winter and into spring um, and maybe even back again in the summer. Um, the first one is a pair of leather shorts which I know sound a little bit weird but to me they're like the perfect fall transition um, really like pieces. Number one because they're shorts when it's still like hot outside, you're not gonna like burn yourself to get death. You're not gonna overheat, but they're a fall winter material and it lends itself to so many things. These look great with a t-shirt. These look great with a little sweater. These look great with heels. These look great with boots even or sneakers. And then in the winter, as it starts getting colder, um, I think it's really chic to layer your tights or hose underneath and put these on. So leather's big and leather is something that I love. Leather shorts are something to consider. And in fact, one of my favorite transition outfits looks a little like this. Leather shorts, a little turtleneck, or some sort of sweater, and then any sort of shoes you want. I just happen to have on a little espadrille. But it's the perfect fall transitional weather outfit. <clears throat> a little bit of summer, a little bit of fall. I will be weather appropriate no matter what. And that's that. Okay, another one of my favorite fall transitional pieces. You could call it a car coat, you could use a wrap coat, even your trench coat, but it's wearing a lightweight coat as a dress. So you do have to have a nagel. Um, make sure that everything is covered or is taped up or pinned up as, as much as makes you comfortable. That's the most important part. Um, but I love this because in the winter, you can use it obviously as a real coat. Um, when it gets colder, you can wear it over sweaters and jeans and all the things. But right now, as we're just easing into fall again, it's the perfect, perfect way to kind of be like, this is my new coat and wear it just as a dress. In fact, it looks a little something like this. This one in particular I love just because the V-shape in the front lends itself to kind of a dress and then the fit and flare, it makes me feel like I'm in the 1950s like day dress, but it works really with a new wrap coat, even your trench coats. And again, you can play with um, double-sided tape or safety pins or even just kind of stitching yourself in it to make your coat a little dress. And then as it gets colder, of course, you just wear it as a real coat over your sweaters, over your shirts, over your jeans, over your pants, over whatever makes you comfortable. But for fall transition, it's fantastic. So those are my two favorite transitional pieces. And of course, I love them all. Layer all your t-shirts, layer all your sweaters, wear boots, wear jeans instead of shorts. All those things are so much fun and there are so many ways to have creativity and great outfits with those pieces. But again, I love leather shorts and they come in all different sorts of kinds. If you want a culotte or even if you want like a leather mini skirt, it's the same idea that you can start piecing it with your summer pieces and then transition it into winter. Um, leather is also an amazing thing to buy vintage. There are so many great leather pieces that you can get almost and really and truly for like under $50. Um, so that's always a great piece to have in your pocket. And again, your coat. And it, you could use any coat, your trench coat. You could use any sort of wrap coat, any sort of light coat. Transition it, of course, um, into a winter coat after you've worn it as a dress in the fall. 
Um, and this is another great thing to buy vintage, especially if you love kind of like the 50s silhouette, or if you're just looking for a really great coat that you could get cheaper, buy vintage. I, of course, have picked some of my favorites out for you of both like the leather shorts and some coats that I think would be great as a wrap dress now and then later on as a coat. Um, but yeah, it's fall. It's fall transition. Let's have fun with our outfits. Let's really be creative in how we're layering. Let's really be creative in how we're wearing our pieces. <clears throat> this is Rachel Adelicia. This is an investment piece. And thank you for joining me on my little closet side chat.